Hey everyone, it's up Ruth Collectors here. We are opening up a bunch of Bowman retail. We are trying to do a evaluation if we open up about the same amount in uh, retail as you would spend for one hobby box. So roughly $300 worth of cards here. We have, uh, what, eight blaster boxes and four of the four value, of things, yeah. value packs or fat packs. So if you do the math at current uh, prices for retail, it turns out to be about the equivalent of one hobby box of Bowman. Uh, one hobby box of Bowman, you're guaranteed one auto. Let's see if we can do better than that in this break. And uh, you're guar not guaranteed X amount of parallels in a hobby box, but usually it's a couple. You get Well, we got f three numbered parallels yeah. in our hobby box. Plus the one non-numbered, non yeah. so that kind of gives you a benchmark. Um, but let's get into it here. This should be interesting. We were thinking about doing a hobby versus retail, but that video would be like 50 minutes long. So. Yeah. And hobby boxes are just too pricey. So there's a lot of retail here. Um, but we'll see once if we can pull anything out. We pulled some really nice stuff out of it off camera. So let's see what we can do on camera. It's pretty hit or miss. Um, but when you hit, it can be very nice. So Yeah. You, you know, in retail, you have the green exclusives. Um, those are, you know, can be fairly sought after for people chasing a particular player. Got one right in here. Interesting. A chrome or a... Yeah, green chrome. Yeah, nice. Could be an autograph. Be cool. There's a Wander. Not bad. It's probably a couple bucks, right? Uh, yeah, insert. yep, yep. The Wander inserts were selling pretty well in the beginning. And a lot of these first, that guy that just hit a good, home right? run. Yeah. yeah, he just hit a home run. He's up. He's already up for the uh, Pirates. Interesting. He hit, he hit a home run the other night. I can't remember who they were playing, but... Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's... Uh, is it Wander? Oh, it's, no, oh, it's no, Bruhan. It's Bruhan, yeah. It's pretty cool. A Wander nice. would have been huge, but yeah. it's pretty nice out of 99. So one numbered insert so far. We're going to need some stacking room here. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Well, once I get some of these blasters out of the way, it'll be fine. So these blasters, uh, those fat packs are honestly pretty decent, but they're also they like $10, so that's the other yeah. thing to consider. But. but you do get four chrome out of there, and sometimes you get four chrome first. The fat packs are actually quite a good value. I'd say overall, though, blasters seem to have a little bit uh, better odds to them because I have opened up a bunch of these fat packs off camera, and there a lot of them don't have anything in them. People yeah. said that the security, the ones with the security uh, little code thingies on the back are, are not better. code, but the... Are the duds. Yeah, yeah, they say they're better, but they're not. Um, I've opened up plenty <laughs> that are duds, so don't, don't buy into that myth. Um, you know, I don't think that there's any truth to that. It's funny that people think that because sometimes there is weird stuff like that. Yes. With collation. But the, look at that green right there. I mean, yeah, that wasn't a There's huge a card, but still, it was a green numbered parallel in, in one without a security. Yeah, you pulled thing. the Elijah Tatis Gold Shimmer, correct? Yeah, so, out of a yeah. blaster? Yeah, so pull the Elijah Tatis Gold Shimmer out of a blaster. Um, so not bad. Pretty solid. Got a purple paper in here. Nice. Colson Ooh, that's, a, that's a decent one. He's Out pretty solid. So we're already at two numbered parallels here. Yeah, and we're not even counting all the first. Now, if we get, um, you know, one of the top two guys, which is, I Khalil. think it's still, yeah, Watson and um, uh, Ellie Dave Ellie Cruz. Dave Cruz yep, yeah. Had to take a second to think of his name. This guy's He's hot good. too. Yep. Max Muncy is another like good him. guy. We're going to have to go through the stacks later because it's going to be impossible to try to separate this stuff as we're going here. Arenado. Bam. Dude, Campos is good, too. Yeah, Dello and Robbie Martin. There's a there's really a lot of uh, guys that you could hold on, on, you know, in this product and just wait and see. Uh, there, you know, even some of these no-name guys, you never know. Oh, there's two another, minutes, wow. Chromes. In that same blaster? Same blaster. That's crazy. That's kind of funny. Yeah. All right, blaster number two. I bet we get at least two autos. I'm yeah, I'm thinking so, but just maybe based not. off of what we've opened off camera, that's kind of what I think is going to be. Yeah. Now I think one of those blasters is from Target. We got online. Um, the others are from Walmart or Meyer. So, you know, we got them from different stores at different times. Uh, that's to kind of give you an idea of where we're getting stuff from. Some people are going to get annoyed because we're not showing every card, but we have eight blasters to get through, and we're yeah. trying to make this video a uh, watchable length. Yeah, so. not yeah, a five-hour video. 
but we are going to show you all the all the packs just you know not go slowly through each pack yeah but yeah bowman retail is a lot of fun and this year's class you know there's no huge name in it but uh still huge potential with these guys I think of Juan Soto when he came out. He was not the guy everybody was chasing. No. So that is also probably the best Bowman set of all time. 2016 Bowman Chrome. Right. Soto, Vlad, Tatis, all in the same set. I yeah. think Kyle Tucker's in there too. Um, so yeah. But Good yeah, you just you just don't know. Now, not every blaster is going to have something, just so you know that. Don't expect to get a numbered parallel on each blaster. Some of these are complete duds. Yeah, there's a lot of duds, um, but who knows? Last pack, let's see if we get anything this out of this one. This thing is super bowed. Yeah, there's a few of them that it's come weird. out that way, like majorly bowed. There's a there Cleo paper. There's a Cleo. What does a Cleo paper oh, sell for? Oh, that's his counterpart, uh, Lewis. Um, I don't know, actually. I haven't listed any. No, I haven't listed any. I got a bunch of them. I haven't listed any. The the chromes are selling for about between ten and fifteen dollars, somewhere in that price range. So paper is probably like four or five. Yeah, three to three to five bucks, I'm guessing. Yeah. It's not terrible. All right, blaster numero three. Let's see what we can get out of here. I thought I saw a flipped over card for a second. Yeah, now in those value packs, they do have flipped over cards, and a lot of them are nothing. There's an Elijah. Really? Just yes. like a bunch of... A bunch of just flipped over cards. They're chrome cards often, and they're... <laughs> they kind of psych you out, but they're there's... Like, <gasps> yeah. I opened up a few. I was like, oh, man, a hit. No, it wasn't a hit. Uh, Clace and Sanchez. No Khalil or Ellie yet. But did uh, get a couple of Max Muncies. Yep. Um, vibrations, Trey Sweeney. You know, we may hit just a few dud blasters here. I mean, we could hit out of eight of them, we could hit almost nothing. I mean, it's possible. It's to the odds, it's very possible. Just John. But people have been pulling. I've seen on Instagram too. People post some of the stuff that they pulled out of this. Yeah, and it's pretty good. It definitely is possible to hit some huge stuff. They also have weird packs like this where you just get a ton of paper and then your chromes are all at the very end. Last pack from this blaster. No beef. Maybe a paper auto? Maybe. Doesn't look like it. Hi-Fi Futures, Luis Matos. And another dud. The one thing you definitely are going to get out of this is a ton more chrome uh, prospect yes, cards. versus a hobby. For sure. Because you're getting two per pack. So 12 um, out of each blaster. Plus you usually get an insert. Um, now we've, you know, we haven't hit anything crazy yet, but just takes one card. Uh, and if we get one autograph, even if it's kind of a dud autograph, go back and watch our hobby box video. It was a dud autograph. Oh, we got green in there. Ooh, green chrome. Nice. Very nice. Hopefully it is a Khalil Watson. I feel like this is an insert. Khalil Watson, I think nope. is a redemption. Ooh, it's a first. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Another Montgomery parallel. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take it. He's been selling a lot. I've been selling a lot of his cards. So we got two of him. What um, is his, like, what are you selling of his? Like his uh, chromes? Yeah, his chromes. They're going right now. I think they're going for not much, but like, you know, four bucks. Uh, a lot of these things have bad. dropped in price quite a bit because there's so they much should. out there. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Like they limited the print run on Bowman this year. No, that's I for mean, sure. they have tons of it out there. It, you can still buy it on Top's website. It literally used to be, you'd open up a Bowman blaster and you're basically guaranteed to get a color or an autograph in pretty much every blaster. <laughs> or so it seemed. It probably wasn't quite like that. It, but no, it pretty much was. It basically was. Yeah, the autos were the autos were a lot more difficult to hit, but... The chromes. You never got chrome autos back then. The paper. The, the paper correct. autos were like every other box, it seemed like. But you got a lot of color. Still no Ellie or Khalil. Sometimes these blasters run hot, too, where you get a yes, colored and then an auto or something. definitely too, do. So. A lot of times you'll get two colored and an auto in there. Really? Um, yeah. Dang. All right, last pack for me here. Oh, yeah, yeah. see a purple. Paper. Maybe this will be an auto. Purple paper auto. Actually, I don't think there are... 
purple autos. Another first. Khalil. Nice. That's a Dang. big card. Not oh, huge, go, but, but it's it's probably like what forty bucks, I guess, fifty bucks at least. Yeah, I, it is paper. Paper's a big difference because you can buy. Yes, paper is a big difference, but he's still the hottest name out there, and parallels are parallels. So it's definitely a good card. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a good card. So so I far, our par I think our parallels are better than anything we got out of our hobby box. That's for sure. Keep ripping here. All right, so let's go back do a couple of value packs. Yeah, um, no, I completely agree with you. I think retail this year is a better value than hobby. I still think that breaking is probably your best bet if you actually want to chase like some high dollar stuff. It's just to buy it. Yeah, buying into some in breaks. A, yep. In a break, <clears throat> but that's not as fun as opening stuff yourself, in my opinion. I mean, it's close. But. This uh, Valera, he's a Valera. Valera, yeah, he's a hot name, and this guy's been selling well too. He's not. A, his stats are horrible, but he's a Yankee. Um, Sorry, Jason Dominguez is stats. Right. This, yeah, based on hype. Um, yeah, so that one didn't have anything in it. Let's see if this one does. So we got one parallel out of that first value pack. Maybe we'll get a second one here. There's a Wander, rookie. I haven't even taken that. I'm sure I've gotten some, but it's not worth taking the time when we're doing this for this yeah, purpose to take that stuff out right now. They were selling when they first came out for way too much, like 10 bucks a pop, <laughs> I think. Now they're down to earth. They're like uh, probably $4. Four yeah, somewhere in there. Bowman rookies, people don't care that's, about. That's a the, nice one. The paper ones. The Bowman chrome rookies sell pretty well. Yes. But... Oh, yeah, down the road, yeah, the Wander Franco papers nobody's going to care about. And especially Bowman. Bowman is not a um, rookie card. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying historic that. rookie card is not one that they chase out of Bowman. No, that's what I'm. the point I was trying to make is that people don't care. The Bowman Chrome rookies, they do. Out of yes. Bowman Chrome, those sell pretty well. But the, the paper Bowman rookies, people don't care less. All right, so we're 12 minutes into it. If you've watched so far this whole video, thanks for watching. Definitely hit that like button if you haven't yet already and subscribe to the channel. Um, we greatly appreciate all uh, your views and support. Um, so thank you for watching and subscribing. We are going to be doing more breaks. We got some big announcements uh, that are going to yeah, come up here. Two big announcement videos this week. And so, we actually have a really big giveaway this week too. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're going to really big. Giveaway, you're going to, so you're going to like it. There's going to be, what does that even come out to? Basically like 250 or 300 bucks worth of free stuff. So yeah. Uh, check that out for sure. There'll be a lot of winners for it, too. It won't, it won't just be a, it won't a, one, just be win, a, one, a one win thing. A so one win thing, correct. That'll be coming out later this week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, Cal Raleigh and Henry Davis. Yeah, I'd say overall we've done pretty well. We haven't yeah, I mean, like cru we haven't crushed it. That but... Cleo Watson is pretty, pretty solid, though. Yeah, it's very solid. Uh, I'll take that any day. I mean, yeah, granted, it's paper. It'd be better if it's chrome, but... But, I mean, if this is all we got right here without these other four blasters, I'd be decently happy. There he is again, Khalil. That's the first one we've gotten. Yeah. That we've seen, at least. Yeah. Because so right now we've got two greens and two purples. And our three... Uh, one was a rookie, but the other three were all first. So. Yeah, which is big, because I've pulled a lot of... Um, veterans that are parallels too so you know your joey gallows yeah. and which and those like. if you think people don't care about the rookies try the vets out of bowman that's a good one those two right there well those are good first woods Montgomery. Wood. or wood sorry yeah james wood oh man this pack you know what we say don't you Shreds like oh, butter. What? Bring it back. What? Shreds like butter. Nope. All right. Hopefully nobody heard that. Okay. So let's see this here. This blaster was a dud. This blaster was a dud. Uh, Sweeney's not bad. I would say like 
I don't know. What would you say? I would say like one in every three yes. basically has something. Yeah, one in every three year. blasters has something. I would I'd say. Now you could buy six of them, and you could have six duds, duds, uh, or you could have six that all have autos and you know chrome in them. But but if you open up like fifty of them, I'd probably say one in every three would be what it would boil down to. But the the one in every three, you also tend to get, like we got, one, you get a purple and you get a chrome parallel on the same blaster, which right. is dumb, but whatever, you know, cool. Yes. There's another Khalil. It's paper. So we've done very well with Khalil. All right. Let's see what we get out of this one here. Don't see any color, but you never know. No. Nothing there. Your stacking um, ability is awful. My stack is well. It's the ability is there. It's just that it fell down. All right. So we usually sort Bowman by rookies, veteran first, and then the other players that are um, prospects, and then the Chrome in the same kind of way, just to kind of keep it organized. It makes it easier to look for guys when they do well. Uh, and later and get called up. Uh, I know that um, Ethan Elvis covers and more. I think he changes his name now on his channel. But Ethan Sports Card. Yeah, he is. hit a monster card out of retail, so go watch his video. Um, he's done very well out of Bowman Retail. Um. Yeah, nothing, nothing in that this one. This would be another dud. Let's go to the last pack. Don't lose hope, though, Luke. Here last we go. pack. Another of your. I don't know. The last pack those. I had um, problems too. <laughs> nice. No Ellie yet. No Ellie. No. In the chrome. He is kind of tough to. We pull. also haven't really. We only got the one Khalil Chrome too, so not great there. But could be easily the same out of a hobby box. So yeah. Now you're gonna get three Khalil Watsons most likely out of a hobby. So. All right, I got two more blasters here, and let's see what we get out of these. Um, yeah, some of these at Meyer run like thirty-five bucks after your, or no, yeah, thirty-four ninety-nine, and then Walmart they're thirty-two. The best buy right now is definitely at Target. Um, you're getting those for twenty-nine bucks, and if you use your uh, red card, you get the five percent off, which basically for us pays for our tax. Which, by the way, kids, if you have uh, a bank account with like a routing number and stuff, even if it's like a custodial account, yes. and you get your parents' approval, you know, have your mom or dad help you set it up, you can get a red card too. It's a debit card. Yeah, debit card. Yeah, it comes right out of your bank account. Yes. In case you didn't know how a debit card worked. Um, I don't think I pulled a Cleo Watson, one of those 3D ones yet, which is interesting. I mean, not just in this break, but there he is, Max Muncy. Your blasters have not been My so blasters far. have been junk. Yeah. You need uh, to get the one Cleo, but... Well, you pulled all the numbered stuff, so... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you... There's been nothing. The left side of our stack has not been good. I mean, pull a few good first, but that's about it. All it takes, though, is one card. That's very true. It's happened before. We did a retail versus hobby a couple years ago, and Joey Bart was the thing. Yeah. And pulled the Joey Bart paper rookie gold auto, which was big at the time. It was like four or 500 bucks. Now, if you go way back, there's a video titled uh, Our Best baseball or best hobby box best pull ever or something i don't know but it, we got a robert pawson whose market is like dropped like a rock over the last two years but his uh orange bowman first auto when yeah. he was like the number three guy that you could get i think it was a shimmer wasn't it orange shimmer yep. yeah that was a huge card too number to 25 all right nothing out of uh, this blaster either wow what was that? My third one? Third one. No. Yeah, so see if the fourth one you have something in it. So you know, this is this the reality of opening these. There's <laughs> there's definitely not one out of three. Um, although it depends on where you're buying it from too. Like you know, if these are all from the same store, maybe a little different outcome as well, because I don't know how they 
pack these out in cases, but they probably don't know either. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't. Tops has no rhyme or reason to what they do. Um, okay, nothing there. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let us know what you would do. Would you buy one hobby box or would you spend the same amount on retail? And if you would spend the same amount on retail, what would you buy? Um, you know, there's no cello packs out yet. And I feel like 30 of those little value packs could be sneaky. Yeah, or right. Would you buy 30 of those? Um, uh, yeah, that'd be actually, that'd be a pretty fun video. Maybe we'll open up 30 of them. Maybe we'll try that. <laughs> Jeez. They had a huge display somewhere. Because they they put like a bazillion of those things on display. But I don't know uh, if they're going to restock those or what. Who knows? 30 is a lot. There I he feel is. Like you paper. could do pretty well out of 30 of those, though, to be honest. Yeah. Well, the, the blaster boxes are can be really good, too. It's just they're, they're so hit or miss, though. Yeah, they are hit or miss. Oh, and so are those value packs. You can open up a ton of those and not get anything. Oh, uh, come out, card. Oh, there we go. Paper Autograph. Auto. A Jack Carey first. It's a pitcher, so lame. But All right, so we did get one autograph. We did tie a hobby, although in hobby paper, you get so a you get a chrome. So we didn't quite big. tie it. It's fine. See if there's a parallel in this last pack. It literally seems like how it works is you get a auto, like an auto and a parallel. Almost every time. Almost. Maybe not this time. Not always, but let's see. I don't see anything. It doesn't look like it. All right, so... Yeah, my stack nope. was definitely mine was not significantly as good. better, but honestly, not that bad. Yeah, overall, I'd say if anything, it's a it's a tie <laughs> at, at worst, and I still think your potential out of retail is much higher. Carry Watson, Bruhan, Colson, Colson, and a Khalil. It does have a little bit of edge wear up top the dark borders all the way around like yeah, that they always very tough to grade but yeah you see like with tatis and some of those guys in their papers you see a lot of nines a lot of eights so yeah anyway yeah. cool stuff all right well thanks guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe let us know what you think would you spend the same amount on retail or would you rather have a hobby box let us know in the comments below uh, take care, have fun collecting, stay tuned for those uh, big announcements coming up later in the week. We will be posting those videos soon. All right, guys, take care, have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.